Welcome back guys. So Valve just released a new Windows APU driver for Steam Deck. This release was long overdue as the previous APU driver was almost 5 months old. Valve even updated the Mesa driver for Steam OS 2 version 23.1 enabling ray tracing support. This Windows APU driver update includes various compatibility, security, stability and performance improvements for Windows on Steam Deck. So in order to download this APU driver, just click on this link. I'll give it in the description of the video. Valve's official website. Scroll down under Windows drivers. Click on this link. Download here. Next to APU driver. You can see the date. 21st March 2023. Once the download is complete, open the downloads folder. Then open this archive file. Edit Windows driver. Double click it. Inside this archive file, this folder is present. Open it. Double click. Just launch the setup, double click. It started. Now before updating to the latest driver, let me show you the version of the older driver. Zoom in. This is the version. 31.0.12019.6013 And this is the date of the driver. 13 September 2022. AMD custom GPU. Additional options. Factory reset unchecked. Install type full installation. Install location. Just click on install here. Wait for the installation to complete. With the previous Windows APU driver, I was never able to get the PC Game Pass version of Monster Hunter Rise working on my Steam Deck. Always used to crash at the startup during shader cache compilation. After updating to the latest GPU driver, game should work. I will be testing it. During the course of installation, display will flicker just like this. It's normal when you are updating the GPU drivers. You can see. Don't worry. This was posted on Windows on Deck subreddit page. This user was able to connect their Steam Deck to three monitors after this new APU driver update. With the previous APU driver, monitor connectivity was limited to a single monitor. They did it on Windows 11. Alright, installation complete. Just click on restart. Windows is starting. Glitchy boot up. It's normal, don't worry. Let's check the driver version. Click on Windows DXDIAG. Type in. Launch the application. Click on display. Our GPU driver update was successful. You can see the version of the new driver. 31.0.14033.2008 and this is its date 27 February 2023 so now I'll open Xbox Game Pass app latest GPU drivers are very important for running newly launched games there's Monster Hunter Rise start Shader Cache compilation should start now this is just a single example you should be seeing better compatibility and a slight performance gain across a lot of games after updating to this new driver compiling shaders let's hope the game does not crash and you can see shaders are getting compiled all thanks to this new APU driver update this game should now be working on Steam Deck, Windows 11, PC Game Pass this is why updates are so important RTSS and Steam Deck tools are running in the background refresh rate limit set to 60Hz I'll set the OSD mode to full. Show you the settings. Graphics settings set to average. This is the average preset. Image quality set to 100%. VRAM usage with the average preset should be around 2.5 GB. Just scroll down quickly. And the legend set to TAA plus FXAA. Eight hundred P resolution. We sync enabled from it. Start the game. I played the game on XCloud Android Cloud Gaming. I can continue the game using the PC version of it, PC Game Pass. Alright guys, game has started. I am in the village and you can see here we are getting 60 FPS, GPU usage is around 60%, you can try increasing the settings, I am just trying out the game. From not working to 
running the game at 60 fps all thanks to the new driver talk to minoto the half maiden there she is yeah i'll start the quest Alright, now we're in the woods. Even here, FPS is around 60, GPU is around 60%. Yo, my favorite pupil. Yeah, combat time. 70% GPU usage. I can definitely increase the settings. Let me pause the game. Game is still running in the background. Need to be quick here. display game high settings I just open advanced graphics setting and set image quality to 100% rest of the settings are left as this high yeah even here we are getting 60 fps this is the game running with high settings very impressive performance Cleared the area. Hey, hero. Fast travel. Back to the camp. Basic training complete. Need to return to the village. Easy peasy. Back to the village. Very high GP load here, 90%, but still we are getting 60 FPS. Very impressive performance. So guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.